Mr. Peabody, you're a Nobel Prize winning scientist, a world renowned explorer, and you're an Olympic gold medalist in both the long jump and the decathlon. You're sure you're capable of meeting all the challenges of raising a human boy? Given all that I've accomplished, how hard could it possibly be? Very well then, if a boy can adopt a dog, I see no reason why a dog cannot adopt a boy. Next year, the world's smartest dog, not bad, Peabody, will face his greatest challenge. No matter how far away I might seem. Bye, Mr. Peabody! Fatherhood. George Washington. What kind of tree did he me, cut down? Me. George Washington never cut down a cherry tree. People made those stories up to teach kids a lesson about lying. Someone really knows their history, huh, Penny? <sighs> Mr. Peabody. Sherman got into a fight today. If the girl's parents press charges, I will see to it Sherman is removed from your custody permanently. What on earth provoked it? She called me a dog. Oh dear. Who's coming to dinner? You'll see. I have to tell you, Peabody, where my daughter is concerned, nothing is more important than yellow. Sure, I'll take a survey. How do you know all that stuff about George Washington? Promise you'll never tell anyone what I'm about to show you? He calls it the way back. Wow. Where have you gone in it? Now where, Penny? When? Where's Penny? Ancient Egypt. You used the way back? She was into it. Let's go. Hi, Penny. I'm Princess Hatchaput, precious flower of the Nile. If you think we're going to leave you here, you are most definitely in denial. <laughs> I don't get it. Careful, Sherman. It's a booby trap. Take the wrong boat. Man will pay. Now it's your turn. Go to Lost Australia and play. Oh my. Dreamworks, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Mr. Peabody! Hang on, Sherman! Well, Sherman, it looks like we were the butt of that joke. <laughs> I don't get it.